यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड बाय द ग्रेट पब्लिक स्पीकर दे आर ऑलरेडी डोमिनेटिंग द वर्ल्ड और डोमिनेटिंग दिस डोमेन दैट स्पोकन कैन बी लर्न बाय स्पीकिंग एंड वन ऑफ द ग्रेट सजेशन दे ऑलवेज एडवाइस इफ यू वॉन्ट आ बी अ ग्रेट स्पीकर और इफ यू वॉन्ट अ कमांड वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू स्पीक इट स्टार्ट जेनरली फ्रॉम अ स्पीकिंग और हाउ डू स्पीक प्रैक्टिस एवरी डे वट एवर यू नो स्पीक दैट बी अ नेचुरल स्पीकर डोंट बी अ स्पीकर that you learned a lot of paragraph and now you are reading that no 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 that will work for presenting some data or some in the office time but not in the real world so guys good morning again my name is alok i am an online english spoken teacher or every day i come here to speak something there is no topic at all because always i suggest that things should come spontaneously it is not something that we mug up or did some rote learning and now we are vomiting here right so again what to say how to say and when to say that does not matter but whatever you have in your mind you have to speak a lot so here today yesterday i was listening some of the greatest speaker and he was speaking about america you know most of the time we must have confusion in our mind that the american british australian they already are native people so they are great speaker it's just an misconception in our mind yeah you heard it right it is misconception it is not that they are great speaker because they know english no i know we have a challenge being non native that we need to learn all the word vocabulary how to form a structure sentences paragraph it takes a lot of time but even public speaking is not the way or not easy for native people also public speaking means you have to face people public wherever you go spontaneously you need to speak in front of people where earlier you used to feel nervous or whenever you try to say something you realize that a fear engulfed your thought your mindset so that is what yesterday even i was not that deeply aware when i heard the word yesterday that every people even the native people they all had somewhere terrified situation when they start speaking so everybody has to start from zero but only the advantage for those are they are already native so they know english they don't need to put all effort that we are doing but for us we have to go with a lot of rigorous effort and lessly practice uh, whatever i can say it's a small word so guys again whenever i come i say i speak something so today i was watching some article generally a lot of article hit in my gmail inbox today and i was just doing triage prioritizing which one is good so first that caught my attention was about hurricane and that hurricane had given name milton yeah whenever some such uh, catastrophic or such tornado or things comes or starts somebody or some the de- concerned department the untitled some name of that so it was entitled with the name milton so this milton okay why i'm narrating this see whenever we read something we learn a lot of way of speaking we learn a lot of sentence a structure and vocabulary they use in precise way and what do i do how do i learn see i always have some cheat so here i noted only two three lines from the main topic that basically attracted me or that basically you know caught my attention so that later on when i read it should not be difficult for me or when i want to narrate such situation i may narrate easily so the first paragraph what i learned and you might learn by listening this it was hurricane milton is tearing across florida see the word tearing across florida it has flooded the state from coastal to from coast to coast and 
knocked out power for more than 3 million homes. See, when we had something in our mind or we wanted to net in that way, like electricity went, power got cut out, blah, blah, blah. A lot of things we'll speak in the whatever we have in our idea, in our mind. But here they used that this hurricane knocked out power. See, the way of speaking, knocked out power means power went, electricity went in all that coastal area. Next article, two lines I copied. This spawned, this here, referred to the tornado hurricane. This spawned, spawned means to produce. This spawned powerful tornadoes and low-lying coastal neighborhoods were swallowed by flooding. Did you hear this? The way they wrote. I know it takes time to write them. So that coastal area that was flooded, so that coastal area was swallowed by flood. How greatly they narrated. They write. That is why whenever, that is why I subscribe this article, especially New York Times, so that we every day learn something. And you notice I carry the piece of paper so that whenever I forget, I can see one during today. Not more than that because I already made a note in my main diary. So that is what, that is my one of the great way of learning. So I do that and now some word like this tornado or this Milton hurricane is tearing the word. See, tearing. It means devastating. These words that every day when I learn, when I read, when I listen, I come across and I try to emulate. I try somewhere to retain here. And when next time I listen, when next time I come across any such word, it means now I don't need to press my mind or suppose I want to speak at the time it will suddenly come. It becomes a spontaneous in my mind. Why? Because I'm alert. I'm super conscious about these kinds of way of writing using pro proper suitable word and now it becomes obvious in our mind. So obviously this hurricane is devastating all over the Florida and America some coastal part and this has become a debatable part not debatable part but both the politician party like Kamala Harris and Donald Trump they are trying to put their all effort so that their idea, their voice seems to be supporting to all the people. They are afflicted by this devastating situation because it hits, it hit twice. Once I think a week ago or two weeks ago and now again yesterday. So both are trying to show their empathy or sympathy so that people may attract, they may correlate that this guy if becomes a leader, he will definitely come across or will come with a great help or mercy, blah, blah. But again, that is only nothing but leader always try to delude us and we are the one who always come across their bluffing ideas, they are boasting. Anyway. And when I was listening podcast, in the podcast, it was only covered about, little about Hurricane and about Kamala Harris and Trump, how they are blowing some plan and uh, putting their effort, conspire, conspiracy, a lot of things they are doing so that they can attract people or people may vote in favor of those people or him or her. And now, yeah, so this is how today I went through the all thing. When it comes, when I ask people, my student you need to speak if you want to speak if you want to become a great speaker you have to speak you should not think that somebody will come and it's like a spoon feeding that somebody will come he will prepare everything for you and put that in your mouth and only you need to swallow it it will not go in that way you have to be or you should be super excited so that every day you maintain a routine that is in behalf of a spoken. 
behalf of thinking and speaking that is called natural speaking style and you may follow what i have been following it helped me a lot and thank you somebody they commented yesterday that wow your pronunciation the way of speaking it is super clear so there are no problem while understanding what you were speaking about and you can see the nature here nobody is here it is my stage you know so here i only myself found that shit sometime it might you might see some uh, kite they are gliding in the sky and blue sky behind oh my god now sun started peeping through uh, behind the cloud i can see on the horizon over there but it's uh, still shrouded by the cloud so it will take time today it was misty day i forgot to say that when i woke up or after doing exercise it was more than 6 around 6 around 7 uh, still it was not appearing like it's white day because it was misty day but now gradually the all this mist started lifting up so that after a few hours it would be clear yeah so this is how what i prepare that is my style and that made me a confident a great teacher that i have a student globally worldwide and guy my these are my secret it is not secret i already exposed or try to share here because nobody sh- should think that how can one become a great speaker only his perseverance his dedication and you might be noticing that when i speak here how many such word i use that you don't know or you haven't come across the all simple word i formed or i a string to make a sentence and the all sentences from paragraph and that paragraph make my speech and that is why it is a spoken right no interference of filler word yeah one of the great challenge the filler word yeah so everybody wherever you are listening the great speaker people public speaker they all narrated they all suggest don't use filler word yeah filler word makes your sound your communication skill dull because something that is lingering again and again nobody wants to hear that is being reiterated or that is because that makes or somewhere it fades it shrouds it takes the taste of your communication so if somebody want to hear you or they are listening but finally they feel bored it creates boredom for them why because back and forth you are using some filler word so even when i have been teaching people they are ingrained oh my god they are hardwired with these filler word whenever within two sentences two or three words comes but that is one of the devastating or horrifying or that makes your way of speaking terrible and that nobody wants we all want to have a great speech or we want when we speak it should be clear it should be attractive articulation should be noticed nobody should face any challenge there should not be any hitch when we speak yeah so these all a small a small part that every day we need to work on it otherwise why filler word comes why we reiterate those word that we should not because when we speak sometime we try to be fast it seems like we have to speak everything like rocket science and nothing should be missed out whatever we have in our mind everything each and everything we need to bomb it demonstrate immediately so that people will understand me and how i'm speaking that is why it should go in the people mind no that is not the great way of speaking because when you speak fast people should understand what is your message what you want to speak so there comes two advantage when you pause while speaking or when you speak slow first when you pause the guy who are listening you he gets time to comprehend or you get time to think 
so everything is clear here why we should be in hurry nothing is bothering us you know that is why the public speaking it is considered one of the terrible or fearful a skill it seems like when you will speak somebody will hit you that fearful it is right so these all way every day what i speak you can say somewhere the train it is blaring blaring means the sound it becomes horrible the the honk that is called blare of the sound yeah but it's not close i think it's half kilometer away from here but their sound is so strong so that you wherever you you are you can hear that and yeah that is why it's terrible sound yeah so you noticed what i am speaking here i'm just going here and there but even i'm putting a tab putting an i what i am speaking i'm somewhere keeping in mind are we pausing while speaking am i using some word that i have been repeating again and again that is called uh, filler word or is there something that is causing problem while speaking problem means the purpose the my purpose or the purpose of a speaker is only what he speaks it should be going resonating connecting with the people they are over there they are trying to listen that's it this is the communication skill it's not rocket science so if sometime we think it's a rocket science it's not rocket science it's the way of imparting sharing revealing expressing your thought whatever you have in your mind and that is what it is called the spoken public speaking it's not something that methodology that you have to ingrain like something jargon or things it is super easy or let it be easy don't make it complex if you try to make it complex it is it will create trouble for you you will feel some experience that will try to deprive of getting this skill set achieving the skill set that you want and who does not want to have a great speaker everybody they have choice to become a great speaker why because this is the great way that everybody want to understand want to learn want to achieve it helps you from office interview presenting data in ptm in the bank reception wherever you go you find the all things will only and only come across and if you are facing you are politely using the way a smile transfer your thought what you want listen to the people they are there responding them properly giving pause these all aspects are only the way that we must adapt or we must embrace and this is how we grab the way where we feel confidence and now we are way when we are ahead of people they are not practicing they are not thinking about this or they are not learning so you notice how do i learn i make a sheet a piece of paper where whatever i have gone through that seems little attractive that i could not have made that so what i do once i see it clicked in my mind and when i speak next time it pop up yeah it not one day effort when you repeat something again and again it becomes in your mind you are somewhere we are somewhere trying to retain here to sustain here so that next time when we want to speak it will be super easy or it will come easily so that we are not going to forget we are not going to lose the pace of a spoken the series when we mix an end sometime what happen the word the idea that does not click in our mind and we stop and that is called fear of failure so why should we go in that situation before going we have to do a lot of practice rigorous practice incessant practice so that we are not going to face the challenge the problem that people have and that makes them 
fearful that cause a great fear in their mind and that is why they don't try even to go again so thank you you may use these all idea you may apply these all idea that what i have been saying here or only these all things will work in your life and you will be a great speaker thank you and bye bye